Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly love message. I'm going to be starting with the Romance Angel Oracle card for you Sagittarius. I'm so sorry, this is Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, if this doesn't, doesn't resonate with you, please check your rising sign and your Venus sign because they may apply better for you. But either way, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, don't get upset. Don't think anything bad. It could mean separation doesn't have to be literal. It could be, you know, with the way the world is right now, it's just being delayed from getting together. But how lucky are we to have the internet and FaceTime and Zoom and Skype and all these other wonderful things, you know? I tend to try to look at the positive. And you, Sagittarius, you guys are usually the most positive people of all. Okay, some more cards for uh, love and romance for Sagittarius, please. Cards for Sagittarius for love and romance. Put that bad boy there. Any more cards for them? Five, four, three. Oh boy, two and one. I don't normally take these giant clumps, but Sometimes they just flow. Well, separation. Maybe this is the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe one of you is w working a lot <laughs> because Eight of Pentacles is work. It's just work. And if you notice, he's got all this work done. He's working on something and there's a whole nother work. There's still more work piled up for him. So to me, this separation could mean that someone is working a lot. And depending on what you're doing in the world right now, that's not a surprise. You got the Magician card. So this could mean that that time apart, that separation, you could influence in some way, possibly. Or they could. And you have the Victory card. The Tower. The Lovers. I'm just going to lay them all out and see what they look like together. Because the Lovers card, by the way, could be Gemini. The tower card is like something you have no control over and kaboomy. The high priestess, this is like finding a, a middle ground. This is a, a spirituality. It could be also something that you don't know, like you don't, you aren't aware of yet. Got the five of swords, which is like winning, but you're standing there alone. And then you have the three of pentacles, which is, I always think of it as, and since we have work related here, to me, this is the journeyman showing the apprentices how to do something. I know that sounds crazy, but it's teamwork. It's it's working as, as together. And I think that, okay, let me just take a moment to look here. I love my little card holders. So separation, time apart is on the horizon. So maybe, and this is what's coming to mind, of course, maybe what's happening is that you are choosing to work a lot. And that's why it says it's the magician. But maybe your work is doing good. Maybe you're one of those essential people who is willing to and able to go to and help where it's needed. And really, that's where you belong in some way, because the lovers could be like a, a partner, a perfect match kind of thing, and or a Gemini. So maybe Sagittarius, you're involved with a, a Gemini. You guys, by the way, are opposite signs. So, but maybe your work is perfect and maybe you just aren't able to see. So it's like you succeed because you help, but at the same time, and you're working on a team, but I wanna say that your whole reading just went completely work-related, Sag. I'm so sorry. I feel like I wanna pull you more love cards. Can we, can we show some love here? Because to me right now, it just means that you are gonna be successful, but your partner is going to have to be super de duper patient because you're involved in your work. It's like work has just overtaken. There is no romance. Can we get a romance card? Can we get some clarifiers or an outcome? Give me something here, please, for Sagittarius. Love, kisses, something. Wow. Cards are not talking. Okay, we're going to three more. Nothing nothing okay let's check sometimes i don't know if i've said if you've never watched me before you may not know this but all three of my decks have 
certain cards are very different than one another. And I find that when they want to tell me something, sometimes they'll make me go through all three decks. No, that was just like being a wise guy in my eyes. <laughs> so just a card, a couple of cards for an outcome here. Let us know, you know, because I mean, this separation's not to be separated from their love. I mean, but to you, I, I want to say that whatever you're doing, you feel really good about what you're doing. But the magician says you have the control. If this is up to you. This is your decision. But I think that you're going to someone else's rescue because that's why the victory card, which is the six of wands, is headed towards the tower. It's almost like you're going to help others who have experienced a tower moment. It's not you experiencing the tower moment. It's you helping others. Let's see what do we get here. Okay. The Four of Pentacles, that's um, being very grounded. Could be, I mean, some people say that it's being stuck. I don't think you're stuck. Maybe you are stuck. Maybe you're doing too, and you got Three of Pentacles twice. So you really are working. But this is saying a fool, like you need to take a new direction. You need to go towards something that's a little more calm. And then you have the Five of Pentacles. I personally believe that this second, actually this, third group because it's the third time I tried to pull cards for you. What this is saying is that you <laughs> at some point in time, I'm going to say at some point in time, you need to have a new start because you're just working. And when you decide to, the fool is about a new start, a new beginning. He just goes la di da and does his own thing. And then you have the Six of, of Swords, which is moving on to, to something more calm and relaxed. But then you also got the Five of Pentacles. And I feel like, to me, this is saying that you have to choose work. Otherwise, you're going to feel like you're leaving, like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. I feel like you are compelled to help. I don't know. Like like the guys who are fighting all the, the wildfires or the essentials in hospitals. This to me is someone who is very committed to their work. So I tried to find love here. I really did. Let me see. <laughs> Do I pull another card for you, Sag? You know what? I am. I'm going to, I don't even have this listed down below, but these are my, I love these, the Oracle, the Unicorns and Sagittarius. They're so pretty. I mean, look at that. The Northern Lights. I have a friend who lives in Norway and posts pictures every once in a while, and it is just beautiful, Sag. Oh, well, you can't get all those cards. It's already, I already have about, what, 20 cards up here? <laughs> Come on. Give me something good for Sagittarius for love and romance. Okay, we're going to do the five cards and the top one is going to be the one unless you give me one. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and the top card is <gasps> receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. You know what that to me tells me, Sagittarius? That all this hard work that you're doing for others, it's going to come back to you. Okay? You will, it will come back to you. Wow. So, I give you a lot of credit. And just remember, at some point in time, you do need to take a break and take care of you. So, thank you so much, Sagittarius. You take care, have a wonderful, be safe weekend and week, and I'll talk to you. Bye.